with such an established brand to bring this tournament to everyone across the world. Again, lovely work. Krishna needs some support here. They'll get the corner instead. I was just saying, Kyrgyzstan have started to pass the ball around and play a little bit of football there, and they look better rather than lumping it straight forwards. There, Mr. Kazi Saladin on the left, the president of the BFF and president of South Asia Football Federation. I think he'll be absolutely delighted with this. Keeper again, caught no man's land, and it's agonisingly close for the skipper, Moshimi. And it's just relief, isn't it? They know they've avoided another goal, just about. How has she missed that? I'm sorry, she's got to put the ball in the back of the net there. She's five yards out, it's dropping down. If she waits just half a second more and puts her foot straight through it instead of trying to side foot it, that takes the net off as well. What a chance, what a chance. Well, that crowd would have been celebrating again. I think Paul is saying he thinks there's going to be maybe another goal to celebrate. So the third and final change to be made for Kyrgyzstan and Zarudina, really nothing, really nothing for her to fight for. Kaznachieva. Will Pr come on. Praying on scraps, I think, is the expression. Absolutely right. Right touch. Now, just seeing whether Kaznachieva is going to be the this forward does appear to be. Back to Shuli. Now Aki. First pair of legs just to try and get there. There you go. That's what they want from her. No foul. Three against three here. Good through ball. Rupna might have to make her first save. Oh dear. Well, that's let through. And they've given themselves. A glimmer of hope here, Kyrgyzstan, and that introduction of Kasnasieva has immediately borne some dividends. Yeah, it has. It was very physical in the middle, got away with it, but it's a lovely little ball with the outside of the foot just to put it in the wide area. The strike then had just enough on, but the question is, is are we pointing fingers at Rupna because it's gone straight through her hand? She knows because she started batting the ground that she should have stopped that. So I said it was going to be a mistake, the only way yep. that Kyrgyzstan would score. But boy, oh boy, they are back in this game with a bang. And there's still 20 minutes to go. It was the substitute, Ahmad Kulova, who scored that. And out of nothing, their first proper chance. And she's, she'll be disappointed. How, isn't that the case we've seen so often, Paul, when there's a goal scorer, when a keeper's had very very little to do and suddenly called into action because this is just a lapse in concentration did you've got to stop that ball going in the back of the net by hook or by crook it's gone straight through her hands she'll be bitterly disappointed with that but a question now to be asked of Bangladesh yes are they strong enough to ensure that they take all three points here well this is this is not a position they've been in before where they've conceded obviously and a little bit of test of character now the crowd has gone a little bit quiet as well. And there's still a fair bit of time left. I'm sure Mr. Fahad has got faith in the Bangladesh team. They're just behind him is uh, Mr. Kazi Salaudin. From uh, K-Sports and BFF respectively. And they'll be very, very happy. And... Uh, Reminder that Mr. Fahad is the CEO of K Sports, who have partnered with the BFF there. Mr. Kazi Salodin is just just behind him, uh, president of the South Asian Football Federation, and 
Great initiative. Of course, they brought the Bangabandhu Gold Cup before, and now they've got the Bangabandhu Under-19 Women's World Cup, uh, Women's International Gold Cup, excuse me. It makes sense, doesn't it, when a, when a federation hooks up with a commercial venture as well, because it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. Most importantly, all the players get the opportunities to play as well, and you get the chance to, to showcase. And that's exactly what's happened on this occasion. The Bangamata Under-19 Women's Gold Cup. Well, that just changes the things a little bit, and it's going to be a little bit of pressure now, and Krishna is limping. And you've got to look at some of the chances they had earlier, Paul. Well, that's why we said, isn't it, when you get the opportunity to score, they needed that breathing space because you're always on eggshells. If you do make one mistake, you could get punished. It's exactly what's happened here. That was a, a very good ball won back, got to say, as well, by the substitute Kaznashieva, Tatiana Kaznashieva. A little spring in the step. And I did say that, to be fair, Kyrgyzstan has started, uh, Kyrgyzstan, sorry, have started playing a little bit better. Yeah. They have. There you go, she's done it again. Kaznashieva has won a couple of very vital balls there. And it's got a little bit nervy. There's Duishpiova. Away by Aki. Yeah, it's got to be a better ball into the box to beat Aki, the way that she's performed in this tournament. They've got to defend now. Not something they've had to do very much of in this tournament thus far. Bangladesh. Oh, very nicely done by Sanjida. Needs some support there to finish off. Sanjida. She's done well again, but can she keep it in? No, she can't. Fantastic ball whipped in. And you do feel that if Krishna was on the field of play, she'd have been in the box trying to get on the end of that, as it was. She was off injured, and that's why they're making the change. Yeah, so... Sumoti Saka is coming on for Sajida. Yeah, uh, she's... Uh, Going to get some treatment. So, so Sajeda Khartoun is on. Could be a possible couple of injury worries there for Bangladesh. That brought the players off that got the knocks straight away just to make sure that they can rest and get treatment on them as quickly as possible. It's gone very quiet in the crowd, hasn't it? It's a few nerves, and that sometimes can transmit onto the field as well. You see the rock at the back again. Aki winning the header. And just that goal has given Kyrgyzstan now a little bit more confidence, hasn't it? They're going up for these challenges, they're winning them now. They've got the wind in their sails a little bit. They'll feel that they're trying to turn the tide. There's about 15 minutes plus a matter of time here. That's a great ball out towards Sajeda. Couldn't quite control it. Now we've got a game in our hands, Paul. Remember, the, we said the, the other 2-1 was a, a fairly close affair that was between uh, yeah, the UAE, UAE and Kyrgyzstan back. yeah but that was a much closer game than this one I mean barring that one goal Bangladesh should be by far the better side here but here's Sajeda it's done really well Sajeda into the box she should get a corner yep nice powerful strong run there from the youngster didn't want to get it on her left foot then, did she? <laughs> Everything with the outside <laughs> of the right foot, just trying to bring it back around and in. Get a third, and that will settle the nerves. Five corners they've had now. Put someone in front of the keeper. Yeah. That's all you need to do. You're right. Put that pressure, keep that pressure on her. We've gone for another short one here. 
a good ball in. Again, the keeper caught out, and that just sails over by Aki. Well, the Rock should have scored then. She's been immense today at the back for Bangladesh. Hasn't put a foot wrong. And then should have scored here. Why? Kajigistan haven't sent out two players to go and close that down. You just ask him for the ball to be delivered into the box and ask him for trouble. And it nearly came. Final change. Now and, uh, they've removed all three of the original attackers. Sanjida is off and Tohuro Katun comes on. You may have seen her with the trophy presentation at the start of the tournament. So it's three very different attackers now. Well, can they hit the back of the net? They need to, to get that little comfortable cushion again. Still no corners for Kyrgyzstan. Who's going to get there first? It is Nargis. I mean, it, it is a free hit, isn't it, for Kyrgyzstan? They might as well just say, we'll play two at the back if you're playing two up, or three at the back, and let's just have a go for it now. Well-deserved, Paul, even though the scoreline might look like it was close.